Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306, back with another video. Now, I was contacted by a company called PowerAd, and they wanted to know if I was interested in reviewing a power bank. And normally, uh, power banks are kind of useful, but I have a bunch, and at first thought I was thinking as just another, you know, 1,000 or 10,000 milliamp hour, small, relatively small capacity power bank. No, this guy is a beast. And just feeling from the weight of it, this is like bludgeoning someone in the back of the head to death kind of power bank. So anyway, uh, we can look at the specifications. This actually has almost 27,000 milliamp hours, which is absolutely insane. So the the part that really appealed for me for this guy is this actually does um, have a uh, bi-directional USB uh, type C. And I believe this will do like power delivery. So... I'm actually interested to see if this will uh, charge my laptop, number one, number two. And so they actually have a uh, portable soldering iron out now, like the um, the uh, Miniware series. I, I forget the exact, the TS-80, I think, or something like that. And so I'm actually interested maybe in getting one of those, and I would like to see if this could power it, uh, because it does a whole range of, um, of voltages and currents, so that's actually really cool. And it'll do your standard USB, but anyway, yeah. Uh, price for this, I'll have to uh, to add that as a comment. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's just uh, pop this open. I just got home from work, and I saw this sitting uh, on my doorstep. So here we have the obligatory... Wow. Okay, I see. So this actually has a built-in adapter, two adapters. for It's originally a micro, and then it has the Type-C and the... Um, Whatever this funny one is called for the uh, the iPhones and whatnot. Uh, blinking off the top of my head. Lightning, I want to say. Lightning cable, whatever. But anyway, yeah, and it has a Type A, and it has this braided cord, and it's all metal. It's cold right now because it's freezing outside. Anyway, we have the main affair, which is the adapter itself, which is actually in a really nice, like, velveteen pouch. And... I can get this out one-handedly. So there we go. This is an absolute beast. Now, like I said, this has been sitting outside. I think I got a text message that um, this was delivered around noon, and now it's about 5.30. I just got home, so this is really cold, and I don't know if it has a charge left. Let's just see. 50% charge, which is actually, that's a recommended, um, like, standby charge to uh, to store a power bank kind of long term so that's good that it has some charge left in it now judging from the size i'm thinking there's going to be probably six 18 650s so one two three four five six and then this part here is just the controller board now it does look like there are some seams but they might it might be sonically welded so i don't know if i'd be able to get this open without destroying it anyway yeah this is a chunky boy you can see on the end here we have uh, two USB connectors, and one of them has a. I'm sorry about that. There, one of them has a little bit of blue plastic in it. I'm guessing that's maybe the higher current one. And there's, yep, uh, power delivery, 30 watt output, uh, Type C. Now the only thing is, my laptop is a uh, Dell XPS 13, and I believe the adapter that it came with is 45 watts. I don't know if. This either just won't work with that or if it'll charge slower. So we'll have to do a quick test with that. And we have another input, which is just a micro USB. Uh, what else is included? We have a little bookmark, which is pretty nice for people who still read Dead Trees, myself included. Uh, we have a happy or unhappy card. This is, this is a particularly indifferent, unhappy face where it's sort of asymmetrical and sort of a meh. This happy face is just straight up happy, though. And we have the user manual. I'm sure this will have more technical information in it uh, about the warranty and how to charge it, what you can charge, etc., etc. Don't really need a, a user manual for a power bank, though, so let me actually give this a charge because it's quite cold. Let this warm up and um, fully charge this and then run some testing on it. Okay, so I've been taking this actually every day to work 
And the situation I'm in right now is my laptop is, I want to say about three years old. And the battery used to be really good. It used to be able to get about 10 hours of, um, of runtime. I've been finding recently that over lunch, it drains to like half percent. I have an hour lunch. I usually watch some uh, Netflix and just streaming from Wi-Fi and playing back, you know, 1080p video is draining the battery 50%, which is kind of a lot. So I usually have to just leave it plugged in then. And my, my laptop pretty much is mainly my uh, work computer. We do have some desktops, but um, it's kind of a hassle getting software approved to run on it. So anyway, I just oftentimes use my laptop. Uh, so what I've been actually using this for is uh, to keep this plugged in uh, to my laptop while I'm using it um, on battery power. And I just wanted to see if this was um, powerful enough to actually charge it because my laptop uses a, um, it's a Dell XPS 13. So it uses a 45 watt supply and USB-C. And this guy is uh, capable of 30 watts. So it's about 15 watts less. So it's not gonna run at like full power. It'll charge slower, I figured, but I wanted to see if it worked. As you can see, it does work. Um, it does give you a warning that it's like slow charging. And so it'll keep you topped off if you're not doing anything like very graphics processor. So if you're gaming on it or something like that, your battery will still drain. Uh, but just watching some YouTube videos and, and uh, Netflix and whatnot, I'd notice it would charge, you know, pretty slowly, but it definitely would uh, charge. It wouldn't discharge anymore. So this did a pretty good job. And well, to charge the battery about 25% on my laptop, use half the uh, capacity on this guy. Um, so as you can see, it had uh, it has four dots. So it'd use up about two of them to do a quarter charge. And that's, I'm guessing, due to the inefficiency. The uh, dc DC converter in this isn't going to be 100% efficient. And then also the laptop will convert it once again um, before charging the battery. So I'm guessing there's some inefficiencies. So even though this battery as a whole is has about the same capacity as my entire laptop's internal battery, you're not going to get a one-to-one -one charge transfer. That's just not how physics work. Anyway, so it will charge, luckily, and that is a good thing to note. And I'm guessing it'll work just fine on like a MacBook Air or something similarly sized uh, with the similar TDP. And so anyway, I um, also wanted to plug in my little like charge doctor doohickey and see... And one thing uh, I wanted to note was uh, while running that test uh, over the course of about an hour, uh, the portion about here gets pretty warm. It doesn't get actually like super hot, so I'm not worried about it, but definitely this portion gets warm, but the battery portion, which is back here, remains cool to the touch. So that's great. So I'm not worried about this like exploding trying to charge my laptop. Anyway, I have a tablet here. And we're just going to see how much current it can push. So yeah, this is a relatively low powered device. It's, um, what is this? It's a Samsung uh, Tab A, I think it was. It's not a particularly new tablet. So it's only drawing about, what, two and a half watts there. And if we could check the other port... Gonna guess, yeah, this port delivers a little more current, the uh, one closer to the USB-C. This is charging at about, what, almost three and three quarters of a watt. So there you go. So anyway, um, so I guess in summary, uh, this is actually something really useful to have for emergencies, especially if you have like a family and you have more than one phone that needs to be kept charged during like power outages. This will easily recharge uh, most like flagship phones like four to five times over, uh, possibly even more depending on the size of the battery. Uh, it's pretty hefty. Uh, I do like that it comes with this little protective bag and it has a nice grip texture. It's not glossy, so I'm not worried about dropping this or anything. It's not really a fingerprint magnet too much. I like that it has uh, this power indication light 
set up to let you know. Just click the button and you can see at a rough glance how much charge is left. Would have been nice to have like a percentage, but I it's not that's not strictly necessary. I do also really like that on the end cap, it is marked as 99.16 watt hours. And sorry about that, it's really hard to see. There you go. And that means that this can be brought on an airplane on, um, it, you have to bring this on carry on. You cannot stow this away. But um, the fact that it's marked quite clearly there, um, TSA should not give you trouble with um, bringing this battery on board. Now the limit, at least currently in the US, is 100 watt hours. Um, if you wanna bring a larger battery than that, you actually have to get like special permission ahead of time from the, um, the airline. But you can bring on carry on a hundred, um, you know, watt hour battery, um, and you know they'll double check it, and it has to be clearly marked on the battery what the capacity is. They're not gonna like look it up for you online. But uh, so I think that's why they chose the semi odd capacity. It's not like a a round nice round number on this guy. They chose it in order to comply with that, which I think is a smart business move. And I really do like that it has um, quick charge. It does, uh, on the power delivery port, the USB-C, it does bi-directional. So it can charge from this as well as, this is what I use to charge from my laptop. And that sort of brings me to something I wasn't so happy about. I had to buy a double-ended USB-C cable in order to do that. Um, and this one is rated for like something, I don't know, it was like 50 watts or something like that, maybe even more, might've been 60 watts. So I had to buy that. The cord that this comes with, which oddly enough, I think I left it at work. Um, it's just a standard um, micro USB, and then it has a lightning adapter on the end. But that can't be used to, to you know, like charge a laptop or something like that. You need to buy a separate cord for that. Uh, so that was sort of a nitpick. I do like it how it has both ports, and I have tested this, and it, it'll charge off of one or the other, or you could plug in both, and it'll charge a little bit faster. So I usually... Um, you know, I'll use micro USB to trickle charge it. And then I can plug in my laptop charger, which can push up to 45 watts. And that'll charge this thing up real quick. It does get a little warm, like I said, but the battery portion itself feels cool. So that's just the um, the charger circuitry in this section right in here getting warm. But anyway, yeah, um, as for value, I think this is actually something that will will effectively pay for itself in the long term. Overall, I think this will be good to keep in kind of an emergency toolbox, top it off once every three to four months if needed. Uh, Lithium-ion batteries have a pretty low self-discharge, so you should be able to get pretty much like, I would probably say like six to seven months uh, without charging this at all, and it, it might decrease like 20%. But anyway, uh, this is something that's perfect for a sort of emergency toolkit. I would definitely advise, even if not this brand, getting a power bank uh, just so that you can always keep your phone and your tablets topped off during uh, power, out power outages and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, uh, once again, a uh, huge thanks to PowerAd for uh, sending this to me. This is a really chunky boy, and I'll definitely get a lot of use from this. I have many, many devices. I'm not always near a uh, like an AC power outlet that I can just plug in a wired charger. So this will be very cool. They do sell a couple different models um, that have different uh, capabilities. They have one that's, um, I think, 40 or 50 watts. This is a 30 watt charger. And then they have cheaper lower end models too, which have less capacity, but they're a lot more pocketable. This one probably would not fit very comfortably in my pocket. Uh, but anyway, depending on what you want, they, they sell quite a number of models. So I'll uh, put links down below, check out their site. Um, they actually have a lot of interesting information, uh, technical information on each of their chargers and whatnot. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.